Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video I'm going to give you a first look at the iOS 7 beta release on the iPad. Now before we go into the iPad I'm just going to show you the big two features that were just added with this update and that's the notifications tab which is now full screen as opposed to the um, the tiny little notifications curtain that we used to see so I love this way better than the the little pull down we had in iOS 6 so if you pull this down that's what you get and that's for today that's your calendar and that's everything and this is stuff that you missed okay and then you also have the command center at the bottom and if you look at the iPhone now if you look at the iPhone's command center, it's a little bit different. This one is more horizontal, this one is more vertical. The notification is almost the same. Okay, So then you do have the music player here. Oops. You've got the volume adjustment here. You've got the brightness adjustment right here. Quick access to camera and quick access to clock and then quick access to most used settings. You can turn on and off the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and stuff like that. So let's go inside. Okay, so once we're in the iPad, this is the main view, let's go over a couple different things. The first thing I want to go over is the fact that you can also access the notifications tab from here, the home screen and the command center from the home screen as well as the lock screen okay so these are the same exact options you saw when we pull this up on the um, on the lock screen number two let's uh, take a look at live wallpapers which is now available with the iOS 7 so if you go to um, brightness and wallpapers and you tap choose wallpaper you get an option to choose from a dynamic wallpaper or a static wallpaper which is called stills so if you go to the dynamic one as you can see you get a little bit of a dynamism here so it's not as bad as it used to be where you couldn't do anything all you get is static images so click set both and that sets the live wallpaper as your background and then if you go to stills it's almost the same stuff with a new couple new wallpapers added for now Okay, the next thing I want to take a look at really quick is the music app. And I don't have any music on this iPad right now. So we're going to look at iTunes Radio, as you can see up here. Now, you get all these stations that you can listen to, and they're free. But you have to watch advertisements because you're getting free service. Now, if you don't want to watch advertisements, you can pay Apple a fee, and they'll take the ads away so you can listen to your music ad-free. Okay, and let's just uh, quickly tap one of these. Starts playing. Okay, tap that. Starts playing. You can add your own stations. This is not available right now for me to use. You can go inside and pick a station. It just does not let me add right now. Okay, so let me just exit out of here. Number two, I want to go over Safari. So this is the new Safari browser. Almost the same thing. It's not as good as the one in the iPhone. So I've got the iPhone right here. If you go inside and you launch Safari, you get the special tab view. So you can add tabs like this. And it's actually pretty nice to scroll around, swipe to get rid of it either side, I think. No, this side. Swipe to left to get rid of them. On Safari, you just tap and you switch around okay and uh, everything else seems to be smooth and nice but this is still not the final release just remember this is iOS 7 beta release not for the public yet quite yet uh, the other thing I can look at is a camera app if you go to camera you see video photo square you can tap the video actually you can swipe to video just like this you can actually swipe on the screen change your mode so photos a little square snapshot application 
and then you got the video right here go down and let's take a look at the uh, new folder view so if you go to here I have a bunch of folders let's take a look at the games so that's the new folder view it zooms in at you okay and then at the same time once you go into the folders you get three by three and you can swipe this way and there's more apps that you can access so I think the there is no limit on how many apps you can have in a given folder anymore like it used to have in iOS 6 okay and then um, it's utilities right there so that's the folders view go back in here let's take a look at the iTunes store anything changed so everything looks a little bit different not too different but a little bit different okay so let's um actually I was looking for the App Store which I, I may not be able to get in right now let me see oh it's working okay so let's click this limbo that's almost the same as you can see everything else like the the theme and the fonts have changed but um, the, the overall layout is still the same okay what is this right here? If you tap that, oop. so if you tap this button here, that is a sharing button. It's called the AirDrop. So I can share this via Facebook. I can share this with other AirDrop users. I can copy the link and send it to somebody else to share this application. Okay, we're not going to dwell too much on everything here. Let's go to Notes app. Okay, so let's see how the keyboard looks. Okay, the keyboard layout is a little bit different than before. It's again, it's more flat, which I like. Okay, still very responsive. A pleasure to type on. So that is the notes. You can swap between the notes by tapping here. Okay, so exit that. And. Um, so let's see if the multitasking works. So double tap, and that's a new multitasking pane. You can switch between applications, and to get rid of each app, you just swipe it up, goes away, goes away. And you can actually use two fingers or three fingers to swipe multiple applications up. Okay, so that's the multitasking view. So we went over pretty much everything that is new in the iOS 7. The design is obvious, okay, so you be the judge, make the comparison between what you already have, and take a look at this, which one do you like more, okay, and the other thing is the notifications tab, it's full screen, unlike that little guy that used to pull down in the iOS 6, and then you got the command center, you got the multitasking pane, the new view, and the new interactive features with it, and then you got the dynamic wallpapers, and the stills, and uh, the new folder access okay well thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions put them down in the comment section subscribe to my channel for more videos give me a thumbs up if you like my video and uh, have a good day